Hello? Just checking to see if my microphone works here. May not work. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, no volume. Quiet again. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yep, we got it. Okay. Sometimes it's a pain. You try to get them all straightened out before you get here, but you never know. All right. So I was on Chrissy's Canvas Arts page and checking out some new art that people have painted. And Matthew painted a tree, beautiful tree, actually. With some really cool leaves and some background and stuff. So it kind of inspired me to paint one. Um, just my version of a tree. Nothing fancy. This is just uh, ultramarine with just a dab of um, white paint. I'm sorry. I'm still just a titanium white. Okay. We're good. Now, I haven't told anybody I'm on live, so they're going to have to just kind of figure out that I'm here, I guess. I told Chrissy I might come on. Just figured I'd give it a shot today. I'm starting to feel a bit better. Granddaughter's starting to take a nap, so I got a little bit of time. Maybe. <laughs> Sounds like they're having a discussion whether it's going to happen or not. Now, this is on watercolor paper, 140-pound watercolor paper. So you might notice that I'm putting a, quite a bit of water into it. Um... I can do that because this is watercolor paper after all, and I'm pretty much doing a watercolor just with acrylics. That's what it boils down to. Okay, we got the white in there. Can you guys see okay? I think so. Yep. Put a little bit of light color there. Wipes brush just a touch on the right. Go back in. Just kind of spread that around a little bit. Uh, let's see, I didn't put any any red at all in my. So let's go ahead and add. I got a bunch of greens on my palette, but I didn't add a single type of red. So this is uh. El Cheapo the Spice Berry. I kind of like it because it kind of got a tinge of brown rust look to it. But it makes this really cool purple when you add it to Ultramarine. I have a really deep, deep color. Hope you all survived the nice windstorms and storms and tornadoes and everything else that was happening. We uh, we had some pretty serious flooding up here. i lucky enough to live up further away from the lake and the streams higher up a mountain. Uh, you know what, Chrissy? I completely forgot to share. I'm sorry. Um, I even forgot to send him a message. I got sidetracked with 
having computer problems when I came down here. I lost power the other day. And uh, it shut down everything down here. All my operating systems are shut off and everything that I have up to make it so I can come online was all shut down. So I had to completely restart and reboot the whole system. Which instantly puts me off my game. So yeah, I'm sorry, I kind of forgot. But thank you for sharing. I think we're going to come down to here. Right about there. So we want to go, what do we want to do? Do we want to add a yellow? If we add a yellow now, let's add a little bit of the... You know what? We need to get a little brighter red than that. Let's go with crimson. Could I add a little brighter red, not so much of a... Oh, thank you. Now, I shouldn't be interrupted by any phone calls from anyone today. But you never know. Now, this is just a... Very, uh, this is ultramarine with a little bit of, um, I think it's a brandy wine color and a little bit of white. And then we're just adding some crimson, just some basic red right here. I'm not getting complicated. This is going to be a pretty simplistic painting. Um, just trying to get my head back in the game. I kind of lost my mojo being out of away from this canvas for too many days you get into a nice flow of something all of a sudden everything gets thrown in the air it's like that but we'll get back we'll get it back um, let's go ahead and rinse that I'm gonna grab some white with some yellow. Gonna add that right in here. I didn't really want to hit the blue with the yellow because I didn't want to turn everything green. But I want this yellow in here. That's why the red's there. The red's just there as a little buffer line. And then all what I'll do is I'll grab some blue and I'll blend it up in there. Thank you. I just didn't know if he'd enjoy it. I like watching. I like looking at his stuff. It's kind of cool. It's not cookie color, cookie cutter painting, you know. It's. I like the creativity of it. I do. Something to be said for being a. creative person it helps and he's definitely got a style it's kind of cool all right now we could go freezing our butts off and make a nice winter scene here but I'm not feeling that today um, that was loud um, I'm feeling some greenery so we're gonna go ahead and let's see we gotta put a little bit of water right here cuz I kinda want that little I mean, I'm okay kind of with that little spot right there, but I'd rather it not be so abrupt. 
There we go. Now I'm going to take just a touch of the berry, a little bit of the crimson. And I just want to just kind of hey, wow, well, this might be a little bit of Chrissy inspired stuff too here. I'm sorry, I'm not doing yoga. Okay, dookie. Let's go. You didn't have to, I just... Showing him what inspiration does. You get inspired from just about anywhere, anytime, anybody. box. I don't follow any particular rules of painting, except for maybe a couple when it comes to water and stuff, but I paint outside the lines all the time. I like it. I prefer it. That's how I paint, so. I cook up my paper a bit wet. And a bit dry. Gonna fight with a little bit today though. Still not a hundred percent, that's for sure. Well that is taking its toll on me. My muscles and my bones are just so mad at me. You know it's bad and you, you know you haven't been anywhere for a while when you go out to start your car and it, you know your car lives in a garage and you go out to start it and it's a not a very old car. Um, it's only a couple years old. And the battery's dead. <laughs> and nothing's left on. And I'm like, huh. I get it serviced and everything else, and I'm a mechanic. So I felt kind of like an idiot, but I neglected it. And I'm thinking I need to do um, Yeah, it was like, yeah, great, thanks it's Just what I needed Let's go ahead and blend this just up a little bit to make this go like that and then we'll get this down there a little bit. And then we'll get this color to this color. And I kind of like the way that's happening because I'm going to actually add some. Oh, why? 
Why? Why? You know that I'm online. Why are you? Sorry. She's right upstairs. She knows I'm here. Um, she knows I'm online. So I'm going to grab some. Going to grab some green. I see there's other people here, but apparently no one wants to say hi, Chrissy. That's all right. I'm going to grab some green. Uh, it's phthalo green with uh, a little bit of the berry red. And I'm doing that because I want this dark zone first. And I'm going to cover this completely. I want it right here. And I know it's kind of backwards. Normally you would paint, you know, a single direction and more or less. But... And I'm gonna add just a touch of touch of the sap green in here. We're gonna see what happens when we get too far here. Now we'll grab sap green with a touch of yellow. Daughter sounds terrible. She's upstairs today visiting. They told her she was having asthma problems again, but the reality is it sounds more like she's got pneumonia. Doctors know everything, you know. Just ask him. We'll just go ahead and put this in here like this. Now I'm starting. I'm stopping part way for a reason. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my little blender brush here. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Now, if you notice, I'm pulling strictly up. I'm not actually. I'm actually lifting between the circles. I'm not leaving it on there. the bottom dry too far. That's all right. We can add a little bit of the phthalo green in here. Then we'll grab the red with the green, the berry with the green. Grab it again, a little darker, a little browner. Just right here. Yeah, it finally did stop raining. I didn't think it was ever going to stop raining. We had the winds up to 60 miles an hour yesterday. Messed up some houses and a lot of trees and lost power. and It was bad. It was ugly. Um, luckily, it was warm enough that it wasn't snowing. Usually, it snows when it does that. So the reason I did this is because I want to add it a different direction that on that side, and I'm going to add it a different color. I'm going to kind of do it. I'm going to do it like this. This is going to be a weird color, but this is what's in my head, so this is what we're playing with. A 
a touch more yellow. Grab on those two spots right there together. Now we're going to go with a little deeper green color. Uh, right there, like so. Gotta mix the two, maybe touch a little bit of. I think it's burn number. I don't know. Oh, oh that's black. Eh, I grabbed the wrong one. That's all right. What I'll do. We don't care. We're just going with the flow anyway. That one right there, like so. Pretty quiet today, though, Chrissy. Is, uh, we'll see how long it lasts. It probably won't last very long. It's supposed to be coming back with a vengeance, of course. And we'll get kind of a English ivy green color. And I'll wipe that off. I just paint so wet on wet all the time. I don't, sometimes I drive myself crazy. And we'll get a little depth to that grassy field. Now you notice I left a pretty light spot right here. It's kind of dark over here. Let's go ahead and add some, some, some right there. Yeah, wet on wet is about the only way I like to paint. My problem is when you forget what paint brushes you're painting with, or you get too close to. You set your paintings down and forget where you put them and you start painting like an oil painting like I did a couple weeks ago and proceed to spray linseed oil all over my flick it onto my acrylic painting which I think I just did to another painting I think I just put acrylic paint on my Oil painting. Oh well, I'll have to fix that. Um. Anyway, I went to paint on it and uh, couldn't figure out why my paint was lifting. Uh, it's gonna lift when you get acrylic with linseed oil. Hey, what's up? How are you? Glad you could come to visit. Just painting some strangeness today. Oh, look okay. at his his old one that did. He just got a black and white one. Oh, hey. See, I think I knew that, though. I think we were just talking about it. You just like to mess with people with that fancy name. Hey, Michael. That's okay. People look at me and they're like, wait. All right. All right. How come your name is one? Uh oh. Oh, okay. How come I didn't name my art group 
you know, after me. My YouTube channel. Because uh, believe it or not, there's more than one of me. And I don't care. I like winning. All right, let's grab this big brush and go ahead and add some. Kind of blend that just a touch. I just wanted a little bit of color change right there. My name sounds like a drink. From a painting photo or my own name. Or the one that's actually listed on the web on the Vermont. Oh yeah. Yeah, every time I people say my name, it's like, um, do you get anything to do with maple syrup? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't. Well, I say no, but the guy that, one of the people that works on my car is uh, daughter's husband is a maple syrup producer okay so far we've got this really bright spot really dark here kind of really funky over here now we're gonna add the tree let's go ahead and put a tree in here before i completely lose what i'm doing today i'm gonna grab some bird umber let's double check make sure we're saying the right name today no it's raw umber Burnt sienna, Romber. My brain's just half fried. Can add a touch of blue to it. A little bit of ultramarine. And I want to do right there. Now normally I paint trees this way because I'm right headed. Today we're not going to. Today all this stuff right here with the bright tree leaves and this is actually going to be. Believe it or not, we're going to paint all the way across here. Now, I bet you're saying to yourself, wow, he just started his tree backwards. Nah, I wanted to know where I was going to paint. Let me kind of make sure my tree goes in the right place. And trees are easy. You don't overthink them. You just let them do what they want. They grow a certain way, and they're going to grow that way. And you let them grow out of your paintbrush, and you just let them do what they want. And you know, your paintbrush will create a tree any way it wants to, unless you're doing a paint by numbers. Which uh, I kind of enjoy sometimes. I've got two different tree here, two different colors going for a reason. I'll show you why it's going to change in a minute here, right here. Because up the middle, we're going to do a much lighter color of browny green blue color because this is what I want to do because this is my tree and this 
is how I'm creating my tree. And I just want to show people that you can create any way you want to. It doesn't have to be what everyone else sees. It's a perfect piece of art. Paint it the way you want to see it, or the way you're looking at it. Yeah, I love painting trees. I paint a lot of trees. All my trees drive people absolutely crazy because they're just not certain. You know, I don't conform to what a tree should be. No, I got news for you. Never seen a tree conform to anything I wanted to do. My trees in my yard grow the way they want because they want to, and not because I ask them to. I have a lot of trees. Okay, I'm a little darker down there. A little darker down in the corner. Just gonna make it just a. Gonna make sure we keep our shadows where our shadows should be. And down the bottom would be a little darker than up the top. We're gonna go ahead and put bushes over parts of these anyway. Now we're a little brighter over here, so we're going to make this side a little darker, just a little bit. Make this little spot right here a little dark, whoops, got to wipe that off just a little bit. No whoops, just, just a brief moment. Actually, no real whoops painting trees unless you paint them upside down. Oh, no, actually, I've painted them upside down before. Actually, that was pretty cool. Maybe I'll do another one of those, actually. See, it's not about where you start with your tree. It's where you end with your tree. Bark. Bunch of layers. Bunch and bunch of layers. It's nice, easy, slow layers. Unless you're painting a birch tree. Relax, let the, let, let the paintbrush figure out where it wants to do. So I don't even overthink my paintings. I know I should. Now you can tell when I start thinking about them. But I don't overthink it. I just let that paintbrush put paint where it wants to go. And if I need to adjust it, I will. If I don't, well, I just let it go. I gave up trying too hard. I noticed when I stopped trying hard. Um, my artwork improved. When I stopped doing what everybody else was telling me what my artwork should look like, I uh, started painting me. Everything started coming out. Much better. And I want I really didn't really want that bright up there, but well, that's all right. We can fix that. 
Have I lost you guys yet? Like they have driven any of you completely crazy. With my really bright colors and got this spot right here I kind of messed up a little bit I didn't quite get deep enough so I want this spot right here to be kind of more I gotta flatten that out just a little bit so we'll add just a little bit of something right here we don't want it floating so we're gonna have to under on out there a little bit. Get a little bit of darker brown. I don't know, I might have lost people. I don't uh, see anybody chatting and I don't know if I'm even broadcasting anymore. Oh, okay. Chrissy, don't scare me. <laughs> I thought maybe I shut down again. And not that you guys had gone. I mean, I understand if you gotta go, but I, th I thought my system had shut off again. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I, uh, you know how it is, you can tend to, after a couple times where your system glitches, you tend to start freaking out when things you, you know, when you do a whole show and basically talk to yourself because your volume's turned off, you know, kind of makes you gun shy. All right, let's add a few pokies. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's add a little bit right here. I know it's. Uh, Didn't quite want that that harsh, but that's all right. That's all right. That's a little on the bright side, but yeah. Tone her down just a touch, just a little bit. Turn the volume down just a touch. Yeah, my ever popular buddy. You know, I wish that green creature likes to attack my stuff. There's so many issues with that. Everything earlier on. It almost made me quit. Okay, we want a little bit up here. Just because I want that just to be a little bit taller. And I got to tone that down right there just a tiny bit. Put a little dark in it. 
Let's add just a touch of black in here. Just a There's a little tiny bit of brown in here. Like so. Let's rinse that off. Uh, I'm going to add my swing before I add my... Wait. Leaves up there. Let's go ahead and grab some brown, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. Yeah, let's go ahead and add. Okay, I have that just above the top of my branch, just barely above it. I'll go ahead and grab some brown, mix in a little bit of black, maybe a little bit of blue, get a little bit of a gray color. I don't want that too, too terrible. I'm going to grab back my white color again. Now I'm going to grab my little brush, grab a little bit of black, a little green in it probably, just because it's still on there. Let's go ahead and put a black line on the bottom. Grab a little bit of the white, a little bit lighter than that rope color. A little thick right there. Just thin that out, sharpen that up just a little bit. I'm going to grab just a touch of brown, thin it out so it's a little bit watery. There's a slight touch of blue with it. Might actually turn it kind of a green. That paintbrush is not thin enough today. Where are you? Oh, good time. Seems to have lost my script liner. That brush is way too big. Oh, oh it fails. Can't find one brush, we'll just use a different one. That's the way it works. Can't locate the brush I'm looking for. We'll make do. So 
I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a feather. Seriously, a feather. See? Feather. I know some of you have seen this before. This is an honestly good as feather. Just get her in some water. Get her so she's wet. We'll run her through our brown with a little black. Get a little thin. Put it back in the water. After you get paint on it, put it back in your water. All right. The reason you put it back in the water is because what it does is it puts a little bit of water on the outer edge of the feather. And it allows you to do these little tiny a cat. You think I can paint cats? <sighs> Can't do cats, man. Not one bit. I'm afraid to even try. I own cats, but I can't paint them. At least I don't know if I can paint them. I mean, I painted an elephant once, and I didn't think I could paint those either, so... See, when you use a feather, just change directions. And it will automatically put these little tiny pieces on for you. See if you do a lot of uh, figuring out where stuff goes. And basically, you're letting nature do what. Nature does, and that's create. So I think you got to remember about using a feather is your location of your your hand. Just remember wherever you point the this part of it, that feather is going to more or less follow you. Fair that creates nice tree branches and you don't even take much effort to do it. I'm just going to touch these up right here just a touch because you got to have a... You kind of got to mount somehow. And most branches where they hook have a little bit of a... It's almost like a stem end, you know? Yeah. A cat, you think? A cat. I could do a bird. You're thinking maybe I should try a cat, huh? You guys think I'm brave enough to do a cat? Go ahead and touch this up just a tiny bit back there. Let's add a couple little something sticking out of the ground right here. Maybe a couple right there. I mean, let's face it, the swing may not be used all the time. You know? Maybe a little bit darker right there. Are we working it yet? Are we feeling this painting? Now 
everything's kind of kind of yellow back here. So let's go ahead and grab. You know, we're gonna grab. We're gonna grab sap green, a little bit of the other green in it. Let's go ahead and add just a few branch little leaves. I mean, not a ton. I'm not going to smother this painting with tree greenery. We just want the idea. And a little bit brighter over here. And I kind of did that backwards. I should have gone the other side first. And darker on that side. That's okay. Because my light source was over there. But it's okay. We'll take it. We'll get a little bright on our tips. And just... Just the tips. And a couple right here. Nothing carried away. Cat. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's try it. I got a couple minutes. Let me think about this for a minute. You guys are going to have to give me a second, though. You're going to have to bear with me. you got faith in me and you think I can create this. It's kind of... All right. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get a cat shape in here. Why don't you get a pencil? Goofy. It actually has lead on it. I don't normally draw with a pencil, but it's okay. Let's see, cats here would be. Looking up. Well, let's make him look this way. Uh, let's make him look. Alright, we'll figure this out. I don't know how great my cat's going to be, but we'll see. Let's give him a shot. Let's go with a let's go with a black silhouette first. Uh, you know what? No. Let's go with white. Okay. Boy, you guys are asking a bunch of me. glasses on so we can see what we're doing. Gotta thin that paint just a tiny bit. Well that's one thing about that titanium white. Wow 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 that stuff is thick. See that much about it.
He looks more like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> That's funny. Told you. I told you I can't do pun to kitty cats. I can take care of them. I can love them, but I cannot paint them. I don't know. Well, that's a cat, I guess. It's not super, super great for you guys because it's pretty hard to see. But. It's not the. Should add a little more gray to that tail, I think, just a touch. Whoa, don't do that. Don't do that. Whoa, what happened? Oh, it dripped off my... That's sort of one of the only things I have issues with is... Uh... The covering I put on my paintbrushes has a tendency to hold water really, really, really well. And we'll just put a little bit of white fluffiness back in it. I'm thinking right here. And a couple little white fluffies right here. Maybe a couple on the tip because uh, most kitty kitties are a little tiny. Fuzzies on their tips of their tails. At least mine do. On my fairy or windows. A little something right here. Uh, okay. Have a good weekend. I uh, think I'm pretty much close to done anyway. I painted a tree with a cat and that's the best I can do. Um, we'll have to figure out if I want to paint a bird up there. But I think that's pretty much it because I just heard the baby making noise anyway. But thank you, Michael, for suggesting that I. Excuse me, I'm sorry.
put in a bird. I mean a uh, cat. I think I surprised even myself. I think I actually put a, a cat <laughs> on a swing. Cool. Um, I can actually take the tape off the outside edge. Let's show you what it looks like because anything I put in here otherwise it's going to be on the inside of it. Let's go ahead and untape it real quick. Thank you Chrissy for coming. Thank you very much Michael and everyone else that showed up. I hope you enjoyed it. I do. I'm glad I got back into it. I'm thinking that's not a terrible painting. That's pretty cool. Um, for a quick painting, uh, I told you, trees do what they want. You know, it makes its own decision. But as always, thank you very much, guys, for sharing time with me. And uh, as always, enjoy life. You know, you never know. Take care, all. Have a good weekend. We'll see you guys soon. I'll be back, I promise. Take care.